I'm headed to meet up with my friends and I don't know who's coming so maybe they're not my friends but we'll see. I know one person that we're gonna go to movies which is in the mall. We're gonna go to the mall and then get dinner. So we'll see you later. with the title. The fact that it was striking to me that it's called American fiction and not African American fiction. Because like I'm tired about every single book that African Americans write just getting put in the African American fiction section and not just like treated like all the other authors. Um, and that was I believe the main character in the story. I'll just call him male lead. He wrote like literary fiction and he was put in the African American fiction, African American literature section, and he didn't like that. So we didn't like put it being put in a box. Um, so in the movie, it's about kind of the societal and industry pressure on black authors to write black struggle books. And the movie was excellent. Yes, well, the cast was excellent. It was well written, but it showed two sides of the argument: the male lead, and then is one side, and then Isare is another side. Um, they um, Isare thinks that we should talk about the black struggle because they're underrepresented voices, and the male lead thinks that. We black authors shouldn't just write black struggle books because people read that and think all black existence is just black struggle. And that's not the author's fault. That's society's fault for assuming all black people are struggling like um, like in those stories. So, but yeah, I don't want to explain the movie too much. 
because there's a lot of plot twists in it and I don't want to spoil anything. Um, so, but like I said, the movie has an amazing cast. Um, one character is played by Erica Alexander and she played a lawyer in American Fiction and she also played a lawyer in Living Single. So if you haven't seen Living Single, I recommend you go to Hulu and watch it. Um, I don't, I haven't fact checked this, but I heard that Friends was based off of Living Single, but that's kind of like a tough claim to make because, you know, a group of friends isn't like, you know, the most unique storyline of all time. But anyway, I recommend the show. So I really like her and really enjoyed her in the movie. But yeah, the theme of the movie is like, why are only black struggle books getting published? And so it made like the publishers look bad and it kind of made authors look like victimized. I always struggle when movies victimize people oh, because it's like acting like the writers don't have power or agency. So that would kind of be my critique is kind of too, by the way. And then the white people in the book were caricatures because they really liked the black caricatures, caricatures that were in these popular black struggle books that the male lead in this array wrote. So go into the movie knowing that there's a lot of caricatures and like troops of people. So it has times where the comedy is not very realistic. Um, and it's as exaggeration. Um, yeah, they thought provoking, but I'll leave it at that because I'll let you watch the movie. So at the mall, I went to Sephora. I tried out so many concealers, and this is the most expensive one yet. And unfortunately, this is the one that I bought because it was the best quality. So, this is the color called Buff, which is like a terrible name for a color. Look nice, but this part looks nice. So I'm gonna cover up this dark spot. Anyway, it's a concealer. I was going to put it in the blush. I was looking for in the comments, tell me what this is. Is this like a crayon? But I was looking for a stick that I could swipe. Um, Consider them that's not liquid, and this was exactly what I was looking for. It was so expensive, it was over $30. But this brand does look pretty good. So I really liked it. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. It was a pretty busy day for me, so I wanted to vlog. Um, and I'll see you in the next vlog.